Hey guys, it's Kristen with HK Wax Center. Can you wax really short hair? This is a question that you will get constantly if you are an esthetician, like a primary waxer. Cannot tell you how many times I would have clients come in who shaved like two days prior and I lay them on the table, look at them, and I'm like, honey, it's not gonna work. <laughs> it's just too short. So I'm gonna go into all the details of that for you. Now, real quick, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to comment down below, like, subscribe. I love chatting with y'all. I love interacting with you guys, so please don't be shy. Um, and in addition, if any of y'all are on um, Facebook and you are either a cosmetologist or an esthetician or currently in SD or Cosmo school, feel free to join a wax club. It is for professionals only, but it's a really great group of people who are very friendly and love helping one another. So join a wax club. Now, okay, can you wax really short hair? Can you? Technically, yes. Should you? No. Um, first, I will go into the details of what the right length of hair should be, and then I'll break down what happens if it's too short versus too long. So the perfect length of hair is about the size of a grain of rice, so about a, a quarter of an inch. Um, it takes about three to six weeks to get to that um, length. Now, obviously, some people grow hair faster, some hair, people grow hair slower, so not everyone's the same. But general rule of thumb, three to six weeks. Um, okay, so if your hair is too short, if it is under a quarter of an inch, so it probably hasn't been three weeks since you last shaved or did any kind of maintenance waxing or whatever, um, it being too short, the wax needs a certain amount of grip to really be able to adhere to the hair and pull it out. Because we're pulling the hair out, uh, like, so, okay, say this is skin, right? And you have a hair that looks like, I guess we should do it like this. So there is hair underneath the skin, um, the base, the root of the hair. The wax needs to be able to grip that little bit that is sitting on top and actually remove it from underneath the skin. So if there is just a tiny bit amount of hair that is sticking out from your skin, the wax is not going to be able to actually grip it and remove it. It's just going to either come, the wax will come up come out but not actually remove the hair itself or it's just going to break the hair at the surface which is extremely frustrating <laughs> so um, if it's too short it's not going to be able to actually remove the hair total bummer you're wasting your money now if the wax or if your hair is too long so anything over six weeks then you have another set of issues <laughs> so one if the wax or the hair is too long then whenever the esthetician or cosmetologist is spreading that wax onto your the client, onto you, then it's going to start to pull on the hair more, which is just really uncomfortable and not fun. Um, if you've ever dealt with that, you'll know what I mean. It's just not worth it. Um, so it'll start to pull, causing more pain to you. Total bummer. Um, next thing is that now most likely we're going to have another set of um, another hair growth cycle coming in. So your hair might be a different hair growth cycle. So whenever you get waxed, it's not gonna be a super smooth result. That's no fault of the waxer. That is just, if you have multiple hair growth cycles, they're all in different stages. Some are at the perfect length, some are too long and some are too short. It's not gonna give you the result that you really want. So that's why it's best to one, stick to a schedule. Once you get on a schedule with waxing, stay with it, whether it's every three weeks, every four weeks, every five weeks or every six weeks, stick to that schedule because you will then train your hair to all come in at the same time, get removed at the same time, and then you'll be perfectly smooth in uh, between your waxes. That's really what we want. Um, never shape, put down the razor. So if you think that, um, oh, I'm gonna skip this appointment, so I'm just gonna shave, it's better just to let it go. You can trim it. Um, that's a better option, but once you start shaving, it's really easy to get into that downward spiral of just like, oh, I'll just shave again, oh, I'll shave again, and then grow, then you're starting all over, which is just not fun for everybody. Um, so stick to a schedule, never shave. Um, like I said, three to six weeks is like your happy time to get wax. Anything shorter than three weeks is going to be too short. Anything longer than, than six weeks is going to be too long and just cause you more pain. Now, if I had to pick between a customer who their hair was too short or their hair was too long, 100% of the time, I'm gonna pick the customer where their hair is too long because I have a much better chance of giving them a clean result than I do when the hair is too short. Um, so if that helps you at all, don't come in 
if the hair is too short. <laughs> Hopefully this helps. Any other questions, let me know. I will see you next time. Bye guys.